Hey guys, welcome to a new project build. So in this one, I'm gonna be building a full stack app using React and Django. So a while ago, we did one that used Next.js, but we didn't cover a lot of things. In this one, I'm gonna be seeing how to build a React frontend and a Django backend and connect them together to build this blog type of an application. So what you're looking at is the homepage of what you're gonna be building. So we have this section here where we show a featured post. So this one is added from the Django admin and then we make an XHR request to go ahead and actually fetch it and display it here. So we have a list of other posts. Now on this list, we also have pagination. So if there are many or we show like 20 at a time, so user can actually go back through pages and they can view other ones. So you can see this page here has like 10, I believe. If you click next, you see the page changes here and then we make another call to retrieve for that page. Alright guys, so each of these posts has a detail page where you can go and see the details of the post. And if it's a post that we created, we get these buttons to edit or delete it. And uh, we also have some other options, like we can share this on maybe Twitter or wherever we want to be sharing it to. Alright, so we we'll also have this search here where a user can come and maybe search for something. So you see, when you type in code, we actually get this post being given to us. And it should have some code somewhere. So if I search for code, you can see that it matched somewhere in the in the post. Okay, and uh, we can share this too. We don't want to share that. So over here, we're going to build out an archive retrieval system where you're going to like group all our posts on a server into when they were posted and the user can be able to query them basing on the archive. So you see if I click October 2021, we get many and we get one when we go in uh, October 2020. Okay. Okay, so depending on how when it was posted. All right, obviously we're gonna have a login and register page so users can create accounts and we're gonna have validations to make sure the user is supplying validated data. So it's gonna be an interesting one. I hope you guys are excited as I am to actually go ahead and build this application. So before we actually go ahead and start building the application, I wanna mention that I've started out a Patreon page. If you guys would love to support the channel, so you guys can check it out at patreon.com slash I've also set up a PayPal page. So if you guys want to like make some one-time donations, you can use PayPal or you can use our Patreon page because we got some packs on here. So we're going to be using Redux for state management and we're going to be using Redux toolkit. So this is a new approach to using Redux. So if you guys haven't tried it out, we're going to be learning that in the video series. All right, so I'm going to be pausing the video here. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out my Patreon to show your support and I'll see you in the next video.